said not a lot's changed since yesterday, and that's a personal matter. But from a presidential perspective, is there any possibility that the president would end up pardoning his son? No. Well, is there a, I, I just said no. I just answered. No, no, she just answered. You can't believe a syllable she offers, but that was the most concise answer she's ever given from the podium. That was cringe, as she is commonly known throughout the land. Cringe on Pierre. White House spokesmodel. And then I saw uh, Democrat uh, uh, Slimeball being interviewed uh, yesterday on the television by the recently departed White House press spokeswoman, Jen Psaki, you know, Colonel Kleb from Russia with Love, gasoline-colored hair, now has her own one-hour show on MSDNC, and NBC News has her interviewing Democrats about how terrible Donald Trump is and how wonderful Joe Biden is and how all of his many millions of dollars from Ukraine and Russia and China and uh, where is it, Romania? Uh, All perfectly legitimate. Amazing stuff. Hey, 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 hey. Well, happy Monday to you and welcome back from a week away in America, visiting Michigan last week with my best girl and uh, lots of family members, Uh, going to the beach there, wonderful Lake Michigan, great beach, uh, great lake. It's a great lake. It's one of the great lakes. And that's why they call them that, because they're they're great. Uh, And uh, wonderful stuff and nice people, good people. Decent people, polite people, people who smile at you. My kind of town, Chicago is, but uh, in uh, uh, Western Michigan, just uh, just wonderful, great stuff, and I uh, couldn't have been happier to spend time there with my family and my best girl and and all the nice people. And uh, one of the topics of conversation that uh, became became commonplace, particularly in the in the last few days. How nice the people are there, how polite the people are. They, you know, don't sneer at you like they do in Washington, D.C. They don't carjack you like they do in Washington, D.C. The children aren't going around shooting everybody like they do in Washington, D.C. And now uh, D.C. councilman, anti-Semite, lunatic, leftist, Trayon White, says the National Guard should be called out in Washington, D.C. Well, not, not in Michigan so much because, you know, there are normal people there. Remember normal you know, at the Chris Plant store, we have Remember Normal shirts and Remember Normal coffee mugs and all kinds of great Remember Normal stuff. And in the last hour, we were talking a lot about crime and mayhem in Washington, D.C. and the Democrats' bad ideas, which uh, never end. It's just amazing. Yeah, call out the National Guard. That's what we need, military occupation in Washington, D.C., because the Democrats are so completely inept, corrupt. Sinister, devious, violent, and uh, supporters of violence and and uh, the opposition to the police. So now that your police policies and defund the police policies have failed, let's call for a military occupation of Washington, D.C. Had to bring out the National Guard 20 years ago or so in Washington, D.C. because the Democrats were murdering people at such a high rate. We had the murder capital of Western civilization mantle at that time. But if you missed any of the last hour, you know, you can subscribe. You can get the Chris Plant Show podcast. You can listen to all three hours. You can uh, listen to the last hour. You can share it with friends and send a link and all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, whatever your schedule may be, you can uh, get the Chris Plant Show podcast anytime, anywhere, any place you get podcasts. And, you know, podcast everywhere. Just uh, search for my name on Al Gore's amazing internet. Peace be upon him. Where would we be without Al Gore? Honestly, got that polar bear on that ice uh, slab and we got uh, the Internet. He is uh, truly a a miraculous person, a miraculous person. All right, but I digress. Yeah, go get your, uh, and you know, subscribe, download the Chris Plant Show podcast because you you might miss some. You might want to say what and go listen to it later. You might want to share it with friends so they know stuff that they're not hearing uh, elsewhere. All right, now let's get to uh, let's get to a bunch of stuff because the Democrats, the Biden family, all of them have given me so much stuff, and only three hours. You know, I was away for a week, so I came back home and I sort of champing at the bit to get to a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. Um, let's go to um, 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Let's go to the to the uh, sleazy, slimy news media. Let's go to uh, soundbite uh, number one, soundbite numero uno, as the Democrat Party likes to say. Uh, and the media, MSNBC, also known as MSDNC, and uh, uh, CNN, news used to be their middle name. Now it's something else altogether, but I can't use that word here. And uh, the news media, they just can't, you know, Devin Archer, business associate of Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, testified behind closed doors, but the transcript was made available to the public. And, um, and some in the news media have covered it. Others have covered it up because they're not journalists. They are uh, sycophants and bootlicks for the Democrat Party. They're from the DNC steno pool. That's the stenographer pool. All right, let's go. Here's the uh, the news media after the Devin Archer testimony. And real media, conservative media, they were re- uh, reporting on what was in the... Uh, what was in the transcript, and none of it was good news for Joe Biden or Hunter Biden or any of that, but Devin Archer's testimony last week been coming out, you know, in in chunks. Is that like Chunk Todd? No, not like Chunk Todd, just coming out in, coming out in chunks. And here is your news media, mostly CNN and MSDNC. Rather, you know, um, said that he was, that Hunter Biden was selling the illusion of said access. The witness testimony the was very clear that Hunter may have, quote, uh, promoted the illusion of influence on his father. The illusion. I'm familiar with the matter tells me that, you know, Archer told the committee that Hunter Biden was selling the illusion, illusion in quotes, of access to his father. Dan Goldman said that Archer testified that it was the illusion of access. The illusion. Now, where, where did that come from? Did, did uh, Devin Archer say that Hunter Biden was selling the illusion of access? Well, not exactly. That's not exactly what happened. You see, a radical left-wing extremist Democrat member of Congress put the question to Devin Archer, do you think he was selling the illusion of access? And that's where the word illusion was introduced. Uh, And then Devin Archer gave kind of a vague, nebulous response that, that um, was, uh, you know, you might say that. And then the news media and the Democrats, but I repeat myself, all decided to go with, he wasn't selling access, he was selling the illusion of access. But it was a left-wing Democrat member of the House of Representatives that introduced the word illusion to the discussion. See? Uh, Congressman Dan Goldman. Dan Goldman introduced the the um, illusion word, right? Now let's go, let's go to uh, soundbite number two. Uh, Fox News covered this story. Newsmax covered this story. This radio station covered this story. Most of the news media does not cover the news. They cover up the news for the Democrat Party. Uh, this is pretty much what, uh, this is what really happened. And then all the news media decide to go with the word illusion. Um, Goldman says to Archer, remember, Goldman says, Dan Goldman. it's not about selling access to his father. It's about selling the illusion of access to his father. Is that Congress. fair? So then Archer responds, is that fair? I mean, yeah, I think it is. I think that's, that's almost fair. Yeah, I think it is. Devin Archer is asked this Dan Goldman guy. First of all, this Dan Goldman guy is a filthy rich Democrat from New York who is heir to the Levi Strauss fortune. The blue jeans, Levi's, he is heir to the Levi Strauss fortune. And uh, he decided to run for Congress, and he's uh, a radical. And and he uh, then he's the one in this closed hearing, not open to the public, no cameras, no journalists. Not that we have many of those in Washington to provide them. But uh, the illusion of access turns out it's the Levi Strauss heir, who said, uh, would you say that he was selling the illusion of access, the illusion of access? Would you say that description was fair? And it's not about selling access to his father. It's about selling the illusion of access to his father. Is that fair? Goldman asked Devin Archer. Is that fair? Devin Archer said, question mark. I mean, yeah, that is, I think that's, that's almost fair. Almost fair. 
All right, so that was the exchange. And then this crooked sleazy, he's uh, Dan Goldman is the new Adam Schiff uh, for the Democrat Party on this story. And that is, you know, Adam Schiff is the biggest liar in Washington, D.C. He should get a trophy of some kind for being the, because, I mean, honestly, it's like the fastest car at the Indy 500 being the biggest liar in Washington, D.C. And now this Dan uh, Goldman guy, he is, he is vying for the mantle of being the biggest liar in Washington, D.C. Um, Congressman James Comer, uh, who has been following this all very closely, uh, he doesn't like what Congressman Goldman is doing with these, these deli-sliced half-truths designed to deliberately mislead and misdirect. But the one thing that drives me crazy is anytime I go down into a skiff and get a briefing from the FBI, or anytime we do a transcribed interview like we did last week, you'll either have Jamie Raskin or Dan Goldman come out and tell the press complete lies about what we just heard, and the press will run with it. Complete lies. You know, that is uh, considered to be uh, out-of-bounds language in Washington, D.C., and it's about damn time that Republican members of Congress started just calling a spade a spade and calling a liar a liar because the American people need to know when members of Congress who are being treated like conquering heroes by the corrupt news media are lying again and again to the American people with lies that liars tell, uh, like Adam Schiffless did for years about Russian collusion and what he was learning in secret briefings and in the skiffs and winks and nods to the wankers at CNN who are uh, wanking the Democrat Party day after day, Congressman James Comer. And uh, good for uh, James Comer, Congressman Republican Comer. Um, you know, you uh, go into a secure facility, a classified briefing, and then they come out with this, you know, imprimatur of legitimacy. I just came from a classified briefing on the matter. And then they just lie to you. And you say, well, they were in the classified briefing, not me, like Adam Schiff did every day. So you, you take their word because, uh, you know, of uh, uh, classified uh, stuff and security clearances and can't go any further, but just let me lie to you. And then, and also when you come out and if you lie after a classified briefing and don't reveal anything that was actually said in the briefing, but make up stuff that wasn't said in the briefing, then you've not violated your, your oath and the security clearance process because you didn't reveal anything that was true. This is what salamanders these people are. James Comer. We produce bank records. We produce more evidence of wrongdoing by the Biden family. We produce more links to Joe Biden. And yet the mainstream media continues to turn a blind eye. Uh, I keep thinking uh, at some point they're going to break. And we're seeing some movement from uh, certain networks like CBS, but we still have a long way to go. Yeah, one story by CBS. And you know, then they just revert. Yesterday I, I was uh, listening on the radio in my car to face the nation with Major Garrett, who used to be a news reporter, uh, talking to one of President Trump's lawyers. And the lawyer finally had to say, uh, you know, can I finish a sentence here? Can I, you keep asking me questions, and then you talk over me when I start to answer. Can I, can I just to anything at all? That was CBS Congressman James Comer. Yeah, well, we have other people like Devin Archer who were in business, so to speak, with Hunter Biden. I hate to say in business because they didn't have a legitimate business. Their business was influence peddling, and that's what Devin Archer testified in the, in the transcribed interview. They were simply selling the brand, which was Joe Biden. This is what Devin Archer said. Uh, selling the brand. And then the Democrats come out and they lie and they lie and they lie. And they're perfectly comfortable lying about it all because, you know, they're the Democrats. And when they get caught lying, and they've been caught lying many, 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 many times, uh, the news media just, uh, you know, goes to gets a Starbucks and uh, they cheat on their spouses, you know, then go back to work for the afternoon. That's what they do. I've got a lot more for you on this because the Biden family is corrupt and Joe Biden is corrupt and he's the president of the United States. And he has been taking millions of dollars through the conduit, his crackhead stripper, knocker upper, Russian hooker dating son, Hunter Biden, kicked out of the Navy for repeated cocaine abuse. Um, you know, the front man, the, the, you know, the back of the house guy, the millions of dollars, Ukraine, Romania, Russia, China. And we've got a news media that has its head wedged so far up into its dark and remote location that, and they just refuse. They're so filthy, dishonest. I don't know 
what country these people grew up in. I have more and more moments like that. I'm like, I don't recognize the country these people grew up in. But who raised these people to be journalists? Wow. This is really, you might be a third world country if... Hey, do you have nasty odors, smells in your home, and your office you just can't get rid of? Well, now you can get rid of any stinky odor with the Eden Pure Thunderstorm Air Purifier. The Eden Pure Thunderstorm gets rid of strong odors from cooking, cigarette smoke, litter boxes, trash cans, even leftists that may wander through your home. You know, it could be a holiday or something like that. The thunderstorm starts working in a matter of seconds to clear any room of any odor. Plus, listen to this, there are no expensive filters to buy and replace again and again. you got to remember when to replace them. You can hold one in your hand. They're only this big. And right now, more than 350,000 thunderstorm units already sold. Thousands of five-star reviews on Al Gore's amazing Internet. Works like a champ. I've got two going at home right now myself. During this week, I've got a great deal for you to get your own thunderstorm right now. You can save 200 American dollars on three Eden Pure thunderstorms for whole home protection. Put one in the teenager's room. Bring one to work. That's three units for under $200. All you have to do is go to EdenPureDeals.com. You enter the discount code CHRIS. That's me. That's EdenPureDeals.com. The discount code is CHRIS. Plus, you get free shipping. Come on, you can thank me later. Great stuff. Yeah, so a lot has happened. I'm still playing catch-up on some of it, too, having been on vacation for a week. And, um, you know, will the truth come out? i got to tell you, the truth has some powerful enemies. We're at 888-630-9625. Hey, Chris here with some exciting news. Now you can listen to me live on the WMAL app. Doesn't matter if you're in your car, in the office, on the go. The WMAL app delivers crystal clear, around-the-clock news coverage anywhere with cell service or Wi-Fi. So don't miss a second of your favorite shows. Download the WMAL app today on the Apple App Store or at Google Play Store. Some of my favorite sayings, most of my favorite sayings are my own sayings. Some of my favorite sayings come to mind, um, you know, like uh, the most insidious power the media has is the power to ignore. And another one of my sayings, it's good to be a Democrat because when the corruption is just cascading off of the roof of the White House and the Capitol steps, the media gets to work spinning it for the Democrat Party. And uh, Joe Biden lied to us repeatedly that he never talked about Hunter's business with Hunter or as many businesses and all the shell companies, and he never talked to his brother James about the businesses, and he never met with any of them. And then they retreated from that, and they retrench. And then, you remember, Cringe said, well, he was never in business with Hunter, changing the language very, very importantly. And then they find out that Devin Archer says, yeah, they were selling access to the Biden name. And uh, 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 a Democrat billionaire, Levi Strauss, says maybe it was just the illusion. And then they all adopt the word illusion. This is the Chris Plant Show. So the Devin Archer testimony, the transcript, not on camera, which uh, I find disappointing, and I think the Republicans in the House should have compelled on-camera, open hearing testimony. But you got this um, uh, Levi Strauss heir, Congressman Dan Goldman, New York Democrat, not on the side of the truth, he's on the side of the cover-up. And And God bless him, Congressman James Comer actually called him a liar. And Jamie Raskin, too, the pirate, he uh, called him a liar. And he called them liars because they're liars and they lie. 
very comfortably. They're members of Congress. They come out and they lie to the public because their party is corrupt and their party's leader, the President of the United States, certainly appears to be corrupt. Now, uh, let's just, and it's all coming out and it's all over the place, and if you follow it closely, and I know a great many of you do, and I certainly do, uh, the pieces are all there. And it's a glacial process, but the Republicans in the House of Representatives are pulling it together. It's too bad that the FBI leadership is corrupt and that the Attorney General is corrupt and bitter about not being on the Supreme Court and so on. Now, when Devin Archer was asked by this left-wing uh, trust fund baby, um, don't you think he was just selling an illusion of ac- access? And uh, Devin Archer said, well, you know, he didn't say yes. He said, would you say that's fair? And he said, well, it's almost fair. That's almost fair. Almost fair? Why almost fair? Levi Strauss Goldman said, because there is there are touch points, Devin Archer said, and contact points that I can't deny happened. But nothing of material was discussed, but I can't go on the record and say that there was there was communication, he says, whatever the hell that means. He said, people send signals, and those signals are basically used as currency. And that's kind of how a lot of D.C. operates, he says. And foreign tycoons and businessmen work, Devin Archer said. So they get him on the phone. They've got Hunter Biden. They're in a business meeting with Hunter Biden in Dubai. And Dubai uh, and, and uh, Hunter Biden says, oh, here, I'll call my father. And he calls Joe Biden on his secret cell phone. Was that cell phone secured? Remember all the lengths that uh, the government went to to make sure that Barack Obama's cell phone was secure because he's the president. Couldn't have going around with a uh, cell phone that's not secure. But Joe Biden had like a burner phone that was being paid for by Hunter Biden, one of his companies, Rosemont Seneca. Nobody knows what they did, but they got Joe Biden a cell phone that he always had with him because you never know when Hunter might call. He could be with business associates, wink, wink. And, uh, you know, millions of dollars are rolling in. And say, is it an, was it an illusion, Congressman Levi Strauss? Was it an illusion, Congressman Goldman, when uh, Joe Biden had the lead prosecutor in Ukraine fired while he was investigating? And now they tell us, oh, he wasn't even investigating uh, Burisma. The prosecutor has made a video and posted it online saying, I most certainly was investigating Burisma. And... And he said the prosecutor that Joe Biden made sure was fired or Ukraine wouldn't get a billion dollars in U.S. loan guarantees. They wanted the billion dollars in U.S. loan guarantees because they never have to pay it back. You know, the American middle class picks up the bill. Uh, Nice people in Michigan pick up the bill and Washington, D.C. spits on you when they fly over. Usually just hits the window of their plane, but they spit, you know, in the Midwest when they fly over. And uh, and so. Hunter Biden called his father on the secret cell phone, the presumably not secure cell phone being paid for by Rosemont Seneca and not even in Joe Biden's name. But Hunter gets Joe Biden, then vice president of the United States, on the phone. And then there are winks and nods all over the room where Hunter Biden is meeting. See, I got the vice president of the United States on the horn and a future president of the United States on the horn. And any time I call him, he takes my call day or night, right? Nothing crooked about any of this. While millions of dollars are flowing into the Biden family's various companies from Ukraine and Russia and China and Romania, why would that be a problem? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And Devin Archer said, and I think that the calls were, that's what it was. They were calls to talk about the weather, and that was signal enough to be powerful. See, because it's like, hey, I've got, a, I've got the old man on the phone. This is, you know, this is how it operates. You don't need to spell everything out. You just get the call. There's a wink and a nod. You stroke the tip of your right index finger along the edge of your right nostril, like the sting, and the fix is in, all right? Archer told the investigators that Hunter Biden used his very powerful name to add value in pitching and securing foreign business ventures. Archer said that Hunter Biden 
would not be so overt or overtly saying, we're going to use my dad for this. But instead, Archer said he would use the name to get leverage. And then, of course, they showed results because the head of Burisma sent millions of dollars to Joe Biden, $5 million, to Joe Biden, who's president of the United States, who then had the prosecutor in Ukraine fired from his job while he was investigating. And I watched a video over the weekend of the the prosecutor, uh, Cherkin, who was fired because Joe Biden ordered that they fire him. And he laid out there in the video, he said, people are saying that I was not investigating Burisma. I was investigating Burisma. And he said that he believes that he was forced out because they knew that the investigation was leading to Hunter Biden and Devin Archer. But then Joe Biden, who got $5 million from the head of Burisma, uh, and and also the head of Burisma and, and others have said, that if the investigation had continued into Burisma, where there was corruption going on, they were buying off American politicians like Joe Biden with millions of dollars. And Hunter Biden got $5 million too, right? So uh, Hunter Biden gets $5 million, Joe Biden gets $5 million, and Burisma is saved, saved because Joe Biden tells them to fire the investigator. And again, I watched the video of the prosecutor in, in Ukraine And he said, of course, he was investigating Burisma. And the investigation was leading, because it was about corruption at Burisma, to the millions of dollars going to Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. And that he believed, he said, that uh, the investigation would lead to Hunter Biden and to Devin Archer. And then, boom, he's fired. Hmm. Otherwise, they don't get that billion dollars in loan guarantees, right? Yes, sir. So uh, it's all about the leverage. Defensive leverage, that the value is there in his work. You know, showing results, getting the guy fired, saving your company, keeping you from going to prison. I guess it was worth the $10 million, uh, that he doled out to Joe Biden and Hunter Biden in lump sums. And then, of course, millions more went to Hunter Biden and to Devin Archer for being on the board of Burisma, where they didn't really act as board members would behave. And Devin Archer said... The value that Hunter Biden brought to it uh, was having, you know, there was the the theoretical, he said, was corporate governance. But obviously, given the uh, the brand, meaning the Biden name, that was a large part of the value. I don't think it was the sole value, he said, but I do think it was a key component of the value. It was the sole value. He's kidding himself, uh, but he's not kidding me. Mm, 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 mm. Man, oh man. Yeah. Archer, Devin Archer, uh, talking to Congress, uh, told investigators that Hunter Biden put his father, then the vice president of the United States, Joe Biden, on speakerphone while meeting with business partners at at least 20 different meetings. Archer described how Joe Biden was put on the phone to sell the brand. You aren't talking about Dr. Jill or anybody else. You're talking about Joe Biden. Is that fair to say? Archer was asked. Archer replied, yeah, that's fair to say. Obviously, that brought the most value to the brand. It was Hunter Biden and him, Devin Archer said. We would discuss having, you know, an understanding of D.C., and that was a differentiating component of us being able to raise capital. Get dad on the phone, and then millions are flowing into the Biden family coffers. And sure enough, look, it was uh, worth it getting the spending $10 million plus on the Biden family to get the prosecutor in Ukraine fired. Why did the vice president of the United States decide that the, well, he said that the, that the prosecutor in Ukraine was corrupt. So he smeared and slandered a prosecutor in Ukraine. There's no reason to believe that he was corrupt. And uh, Joe Biden lied to us about that. And the news media licked his boot because, you know, that's uh, that's what they do. And by the way, the Washington Post gave Joe Biden four Pinocchios, four Pinocchios just a few days ago for falsely claiming that Hunter Biden never made money from China. Hunter Biden confirmed in court that he pocketed, pocketed hundreds of thousands of dollars from China, contradicting what his father had said. And so the Washington Post bootleg fact checker, who's not a fact checker at all, but a Democrat frontman, Glenn Kessler is his name. And he had to give Joe Biden four Pinocchios because 
gosh, Hunter Biden's on the record contradicting what his father said. You know, maybe, Glenn, you should have checked this out before it was completely proven in court documents. Then maybe you'd have a shred of credibility left. But as of now, you don't, Glenn Kessler. So he lied. uh, Oh, he didn't get any money from China. That's a lie. Hunter Biden confirmed in his court testimony. No big deal. Also, this phone. It turns out the phone um, that was paid for by a Hunter Biden firm that did nothing, Rosemont Seneca. Is that the one where uh, they had the offices on Georgetown on the waterfront where he had the street person prostitute come in and out of there at night? And this, this secret phone that Joe Biden carries with him at all times to respond to Hunter Biden's calls day and night. Turns out that uh, Just the News founder and reporter John Solomon, a great American and a great investigative journalist, John John Solomon uh, got some of the documents off of Capitol Hill, which included the secret cell phone that Joe Biden always kept with him to make sure that he was there to take Hunter Biden's calls. And um, John Solomon called the number. And who answered but Joe Biden? Because it's only Hunter that calls on that line. So when John Solomon called, and it's uh, the author, Peter Schweitzer, um, dropped the the bombshell. This was a week ago uh, or or so. Announced uh, Joe Biden was using an unauthorized global phone that Hunter Biden was paying $300 a month for. Pretty amazing stuff. And Peter Schweitzer, author, investigator, journalist, writer, thinker, truth teller, said, uh, you know, what's in the line of communication between Hunter Biden and his business partners and Joe Biden when he's vice president of the United States? Well, it's not the government phone and it's not Joe Biden's personal phone. We know from the laptop that Hunter Biden's business paid for a private phone line that Joe Biden used while he was vice president. And It goes on, it was from AT&T, $300 a month, a global phone where you could access somebody anywhere around the world. How convenient. And then uh, when when, uh, John Solomon found out about this, he actually called the number because he got the phone number. So you'd imagine if the Washington Post or the New York Times were in the news business, which they're not. They could have broken this story wide open, but they don't do that because of hate. They hate Trump so much that they've corrupted themselves. They've honestly corrupted themselves. Nobody else corrupted them. They corrupted themselves. They were raised by presumably Democrats to be be corrupt people. So um, just amazing stuff. And House Oversight Chairman James Comer said last month he identified nine Bidens implicated in the corruption and gathering up the, uh, the dollars, millions and millions of dollars. Uh, Now, let's go back to uh, Congressman James Comer, number six, number six, Congressman James Comer, uh, chair of the Oversight Committee. Uh, They got paid because people needed access to the federal government, and they knew that uh, Hunter Biden was Joe Biden's son, and if if they needed something, and they always did need something because every one of these entities that were paying the Bidens, the millions and millions of dollars, they were... uh, people with issues in their country. They were under investigation for corruption, uh, many mm-hmm. of them. Uh, they were crooks, so to speak. So they got this burner phone, and Joe Biden always had it with them and was always there to answer. And at the same time, millions and millions of dollars coming into the Biden family coffers. Isn't it good to be a Democrat? Here's James Comer. We're going to bring in additional people. There are about five or six people that whose names were also on these shell companies, these fake companies that the Bidens were using to launder money from these foreign nationals. Remember, the process involved a foreign country, a foreign national, wiring money to Mm -hmm. a fake company. Then the fake company would then turn around and wire the money to the Biden family members. They did this to hide the source of the revenue because they weren't supposed to get money from many of these countries. And secondly, they did it to hide from the IRS so they wouldn't have to pay taxes. You know, that's, uh, that's what got Al Capone, the tax evasion thing. It might be what gets Joe Biden and the Biden family in the end. You know, CBD is everywhere. 
They're putting CBDs in everything now. Well, my friends at Generic CBD, they've infused CBDs into their number one best-selling Deep penetrating muscle and joint cream. And let me tell you, this stuff is amazing. It melts right into your knees, your elbows, your back, your shoulders, especially stiff hands and fingers. It goes to work in a matter of seconds. And listen, um, yeah, put it on in the morning. You love it. Uh, look at all the five star reviews. People love it. And my best girl says it's a great moisturizer, too. The company is called genericcbd.com. GenericCBD.com. You've heard me talk about them before. They sell premium CBD products for a lot less cash. And right now, you can try their muscle and joint cream for free. For free, I'm telling you. You pay $2.95 to help with the shipping and handling. But don't worry, it's not a subscription. No strings attached. They just want you to try it because they know you're going to love it. And you're going to buy more for your mom, for your for yourself, for everybody, for the whole neighborhood. You're going to love it. No strings attached. Honestly. You try it, you're going to get more. Get your free sample at genericcbd.com. That's genericcbd.com, genericcbd.com. These products and statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, prevent any disease or illness. Um, You know, I just, uh, you know, if we had a media, what would they look like? You might be a third world country if... If you have a president like Joe Biden and his son, Bong Bong, over here, Bong Bong Biden, that should be his new nickname. You know, like Ferdinand Marcos's son in the Philippines, Bong Bong Marcos. Bong Bong Biden, you know, and it's a pipe you smoke dope through, too. Bong Bong Biden and Joe Biden. And then the news media we have, what is not third world about us? There's only one Chris Plant. The Chris Plant Show. And I've got a lot for you on this. Uh, The Democrats now trying to muzzle President Trump and his defense team, keep them from speaking publicly about the case because you might be a third world country if... Uh, President Trump over the weekend was in Alabama where he had a big rally and uh, he was in rare form, I've got to say. President Trump talking about what they're doing to him. This uh, ridiculous indictment against us, it's not a legal case. It's an act of desperation by a failed and disgraced crooked Joe Biden and his radical left thugs to preserve their grip on power. They want to do anything they can to preserve it. Biden and his protectors know he cannot win this race any other way. So now they're trying something that hasn't been tried in this country, election interference. Election interference. President Trump, of course, has been indicted uh, on uh, various crimes in Florida, in Washington, D.C., in New York. He's facing 641 years in prison if convicted of all the Democrat charges uh, because there are 78 charges now, 78 charges, 641 years in prison. It does remind us that Vladimir Putin just jailed one of his political opponents for 19 years. (laughs) 